Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. We are at uh, 6 a.m. Jerusalem time, and this is the 18th of October already. And for me, the sun is just coming up. Um, so there's a lovely uh, clear sky today uh, in the morning. And um, we are on the Africa Watch, which is part of the Global Watch. And we know that wherever we come to pray, that we are here with you, Lord. Even when I was uh, sitting here and I was the only one, um, it wasn't just me. It was me with the Lord and you all waking up to come on and become part of this or maybe you're just about to go to bed, whatever time it is, Lord. We just say thank you. Thank you for the faithfulness of each person who comes on these calls all the time. And I thank you for the fact that the prayer is throughout the world. And not only with the Global Watch, uh, last night I was on the call um, with the ICJ. They've got seven days uh, over Rosh Kodesh. Rosh Kodesh. And um, so th that's going also around the world with seven days of prayer. And, and they keep on filling up with more days. So it is 24 seven, which is wonderful as well. And thank you for every single person who's come on this call today. I'd like to just start with, first of all, I'd just like to start with Psalm 100 and, um, and then I will play a song, a song that I actually first heard in um, 2012 at Sukkot Halal. I was on a, a tour. It was through the Feast of Tabernacles and uh, our group went to, to uh, Sukkot Halal and it was the first time I ever uh, saw Patricia and uh, Rick Ridings and they were playing the song and it, it meant so much to me because I'd been on quite a journey um, to, to in my life at that stage and so I will play that song just now. Let me just read um, Psalm 100. Right. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name, for the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures for all generations. And Lord, it is so important that we seek your truth and not the truth that the world thinks about. So I'm going to play the song for you by sharing my screen and remembering to click the sound button and yeah oh, <clears throat> that is such a true statement and it's such a lovely song and i'm glad i found it again as i say it was in 2012 when i first heard of, heard it at sukkot and um it always wanted me i always wanted to go back there and i'm so thankful that that this year I had many opportunities to go up to all the prayer houses in Jerusalem and obviously in Haifa with um, as Khalid um, Hakamel, sorry, um, and even to go to the Galilee. And, um, and everything is so vivid in my mind from April, May. It was so wonderful. And I just praise you and thank you, Lord, that you are faithful and you will have israel in your hands lord and i just pray against anything that is coming against israel especially from um outside i just really pray for for the agendas of the people who think that they know best but lord we know that we need to look to you and you alone in everything in the situation so I want to open it up to, we've got 17 of us on the call, so it's not a big number to actually um, be, uh, not allow everybody to even have a prayer and a say in this time. So we're not doing like a teaching, um, uh, but we're, we're just saying, Lord, you are 
our teacher. Lord, you are the one who is controlling this whole meeting. And it's the Africa Watch. And uh, although I don't see many uh, on from Africa, in fact, if I look quickly through, I think maybe two, maybe two of us, I'm not even quite sure <laughs> the second one, but Lord, just wake us up to know that you are going to look through this hour and you're going to say, yes, we praise the Lord. We, we lifted you higher. And Lord, everybody has a chance to, to pray at this stage. Um, can I just ask, um, maybe uh, Yuta, you were uh, first on the call, or uh, and then Esther, you were also on straight away. And coming from from the land, we really appreciate your prayers uh, as well. So we we'll would thank you, and every single person. You can put your hands up if you want to, or you can. We can just see how it just um, goes from one person to the next. So Yuta, would you? Um, commend this time to to us you said something really wonderful just when we were coming on that we are never alone and you are always jesus uh, yeshua hamashiach in control of what we are doing at this time thank you Yuta. yeah father i thank you for i for, thank you for this time for this watch lord you are the watchman lord you are interceding day and night for us and so i ask you just to take us alongside with you as your bride lord we cannot do it but you can by your spirit lord so we surrender to you and father you um put on our heart what's on your heart lord thank you that you align really our hearts with you and um open our eyes to see, our ears to hear, and our heart to understand what you are saying in such a time as this, Lord. And I thank you that we are one in you, Yeshua. Thank you for that we are not, um, we are not warring to, to, to get the victory. We are standing in your victory and we are declaring, we are lifting up your name. We are, um, we, we look at who you are and what you have done and we declare what's already in heaven unto the earth, Lord. Father, um, mature us in this process of world, of war, of, of um, shaking, having shaking in heaven and on the earth lord thank you lord jesus that you are the cornerstone that keeps standing and that will always standing forever and father thank you that um, you lift us upon the rock upon christ we are in christ to see and to know that we keep standing with you lord we are in you and thank you that you declare that you declare through us lord the manifold wisdom I call forth into the earth, the manifold wisdom of God to be released, to be made known to the principalities and powers. Father, take our mouth and, and really um, help us to really line up, to speak, to declare, to stand in your victory. Father, we are seated with you in heavenly places and I thank you for that. And in the song, I um, the Lord reminded me of Deuteronomio um, 33, 26, 29. That was the blessing that um, Moses spoke over all Israel. And I want to declare that. There is no one like the God of Eshurun who writes the heavens to help you. And in his excellency on the clouds. The eternal God is your refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. He will thrust out the enemy from before you and will say, destroy. Then Israel shall dwell in safety, the fountain of Jacob alone in a land of grain and new wine. His heavens shall also drop dew. Happy are you, O Israel, who is like you, a people saved by the lord the shield of your help and the sword of your majesty your enemies shall submit to you and you shall tread down their high places 
Father, I thank you that you are speaking about the Israel of God, Father. And I ask you really to line up for all the people in Israel, but all the nations will seek you, Lord. But this is a time where you draw, where you make yourself known to us, Father. And where, where you draw your people unto you, yourself, Lord. Bringing into remembrance, Father, that we all can say together baruch haba v'shem adonai come lord jesus come and focus you in jesus name amen 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 right I, i'm going to take that the one scripture that says uh, we must be ready in season and out of season so i'm going to just call on you as i see you on my screen and what i'm really asking we're all mature christians i hope <laughs> we're getting there anyway um to actually know a scripture or um, I just have a prayer and I just thank you that this is a wonderful time that we can actually be as if we we're in a breakout room and um, we we can all have a time to pray so I'm going to call on Esther first and um, I'm just going to go through each of them uh, if anybody really wants to pray um, and they put their hand up then I will uh, I will submit to you as well so first of all let me just Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Um, can you read for me Isaiah uh, 30, verse 21, please? Okay, let me just put that down. In the... Isaiah 30, 21, did you say? Yes. 21. I hope that it's the same. All yeah. right, I'll find it. Uh, let me just quickly get there. Isaiah. Is it 30, 30, Esther? Yes. 30, 21. Yeah, 30, verse 21. Your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it, whenever you turn to the right hand or whenever you turn to the left. Is that the same scripture? Thank you. Okay, thanks, Esther. I'll put it in the chat. Okay. Another. We will give you the glory. Thank you that we just need to hear your word and walk in it. We, we see the time and you know it, the season and you're never out of season, Lord God. We praise you, Lord God. Abba. Abba, I pray for my people. They are broken, devastated. They cannot comprehend what happened. Abba, I just pray they will look up. They will listen and walk in the way that you want them to be. And I just pray that they will call you in their despair. Abba, call you in despair. Be their healer, Lord God. Be their healer, be their God. I will send your spirit forth on Israel, Lord God, and all the people that inhabit this land, Lord. But especially now I'm praying for Israel, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you are faithful. Thank you, Lord, that you are loving. And nothing that happened so bright. And joking from heaven. And the time is perfect for everything that happened. It's horrible what happened, but Lord God, forgive us. We defiled your land. We defiled the land with the blood of the innocent, Lord with the blood of babies, two million babies. Lord God, two million babies from the beginning of the nation. And so much more, Lord God. Thank you that you are a merciful God, Lord, and that you are going to take the situation and you're going to turn it around. 
Thank you, Lord. And the main thing that you're looking for are people who will turn their hearts to you, Lord. And so if sometimes things aren't so easy, it is maybe God calling the nation to himself. And I really pray for that, that <laughs> many, many will come to know you as well. You took my word out of my mouth. Uh, okay. You see that the Holy Spirit is working through this. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, we are always keeping you in prayer. And uh, obviously we are the we are, we are the Africa Watch at the moment. <laughs> so um so we'll, um, we'll we'll go through everybody, but uh, Hillary has put up her hand, so she she may go next, and then I, I will still call on each of you. So just be prepared. <laughs> That's what it says in the word, be prepared. Thank you so much. I was just seeing the alignment of Africa with Israel. And then a beloved sister bought Isaiah 30, verse 21. And it's like the alignment to walk in the way of the Lord. But it's also there have been wrong alignments with Israel and Africa, and particularly what's going on with the provision of a lot of intelligence and ammunition and tunnels and stuff from Egypt. Yes. And so, um, could I first bring the scripture from Isaiah 40? Mm -hmm. Comfort, yes, comfort my people, says your God. Mm -hmm. Speak comfort to Jerusalem. I want to speak comfort to the northern borders of Le near Lebanon, Lord. Comfort to the Galilee. Comfort to Gaza and the southern regions, Lord. Mm -hmm. And cry out to her that her warfare is ended, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she has received from Yahweh's hand double for all her sins. Oh and the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way for Yahweh, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, every mountain and hill brought low. The crooked places shall be made straight, and the rough places smooth, and the glory of Yahweh shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of Yahweh has spoken. So, Father, we cry out to you, as the next verse said, a voice said, cry out. And he said, what shall I cry? And we, we cry salvation. We cry deliverance. We cry redemption through the one, Yeshua HaMashiach, who is the way, the truth, and the life. We cry for your plumb line of righteousness and justice that are the foundation of your throne, Lord Jesus. We cry, Heavenly Father, for the cutting off of evil alliances and allegiances and corrupt agreements that have come out of alignment. And we speak your word, Lord, those things that are, are crooked. You shall make them straight in alignment with the holy God of Israel. And your throne is already established on Mount Zion. And this whole contesting of the Al-Aqsa Mosque. This whole Palestinian Operation Al-Aqsa agenda to take over your holy mountain, we say it shall not take place. And we call forth the preparing of the way of Yahweh. We call forth, Father God, the raising up of those who've been broken and hurt and humiliated and defiled that, Father, you would come with your great mercy and compassion, your great healing, visions, dreams, come by your Holy Spirit, hover Amen. over these dear ones, the kidnapped yeah. ones, the ones who are in trauma, the ones who are in hospital, the, the relatives that are grieving their lost loved ones and seeing such barbaric evil yeah. going on in their very land, their very city. And Father, I just want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to be there and to have just some sense of seeing these precious ones brought from Starot into our house, into our hotel. And Father, you are such a merciful Father. 
I saw this, this Jewish father teaching all the little children the Torah. And I say, Father, thank you. Thank you that you are making a straight road in the desert. You are making a highway for our God in the hearts of these precious children. You are preparing for the revelation of the glory of yourself in your holy land, your covenant land of Israel. And so, Father, we speak your blessing. We speak your comfort. And whatever warfare is needed to bring to alignment the hearts of your people, the minds of your people, to love you in first place, to cling to you as their life, and to desire to walk out their lives in holiness and purity before you, and whatever is required for forgiveness of one another, and all this division and hatred to come to an end. And that, Lord, you would be able to come and do such a purification, mm. such a purging through this shaking. Mm. And that, Father God, bring your divine plan of a holy alignment between Egypt, Israel, and Assyria. Your Isaiah 19 highway. Mm. And that, Father, peoples from all these different religious backgrounds and deceptions, mm -hmm. it's not impossible for you. Amen. To bring them to the place to hear your voice and hear you say, this Amen. is the way, walk in it. And we call this forth yes. for your glory and the precious name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Right, um, Justin, thank you. Would you like to unmute? Thanks. Uh, yes. <clears throat> Apologies, um, I'm still getting over COVID and there might be some background noise, but um, yeah, mm. the issue, the theme or issue of um, the intelligence mm. agencies has come up in a couple of the chats and I've been stirred particularly, I wrote before about not forgetting our rare flank in the spiritual war from China and I was also thinking about their intelligence operations the united front and i know that they operate in africa a lot as they do globally so first Maybe. of all lord i i just want to bring before you the intelligence agencies lord i pray that for those that are of you lord give them supernatural knowledge supernatural intelligence Lord, those are not that are not of you, those that are trying to sow discord, I pray that you'd be sowing seeds of discord amongst those that are trying to bring unholy alliances, that are trying to bring unholy alignments. Lord, I declare so seeds of discord amongst them in Jesus' name. But Lord, I also pray for mercy on them for they're deluded by they're deluded by evil lord lord may your holy spirit go and hover over those that um that may be operating out of a lack of knowledge for a lack of knowledge destroys us lord i pray that you'd be speaking to any intelligence officers that don't know you Lord, speak to them. May your Holy Spirit be and lift up the veil that Satan's put over their minds so that the knowledge of the cross can penetrate to their minds and to their hearts, Lord. And Lord, I pray that as the nations shake in this time, Lord, I pray that, that you'd continue to give us a sense of peace, to know that the kingdom that we are part of cannot be shaken, will not be shaken, even, even as those things which can be shaken will be shaken. Lord, fill us with that sense of peace. And Lord, as we continue to cry out to you, I continue to cry out for mercy for those who just don't know you and who are living in ignorance of you, I cry out for mercy, I cry out for salvation for them, for their souls, Lord. And Lord, I pray also for 
I pray also for those leaders. There's been a, a flurry of leaders' meetings in the last couple of days. Uh, Netanyahu talking about Putin, Putin and Xi Jinping meeting, all these, and then Joe Biden. Lord, I pray for any communications which confuse things or which are promoting unholy things. Lord, may those communications be scrambled in Jesus' name. Lord, may those communications be even cut off in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray instead that then those, any communications which are of you, Lord, may they be amplified. But Lord, I do continue to pray for wisdom for leaders. Um, I pray for wisdom for Netanyahu. I also pray for um, wisdom for Joe Biden, for other leaders. Lord, I continue to pray for seeds of discord to be sowed between Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping. Lord, I also continue to pray for Xi Jinping's hold on China. As you just said, we are seated in the heavenly realms with Christ. And from that position, and the Persia in Jesus' name. Lord, we bring all these things to you. Lord, we trust that you're going ahead to answer our prayers. Lord, we trust that as long as we keep our eyes on you, keep our eyes on heavenly things, remember that we are seated above in victory, Lord, that we war from a place of victory. I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So true. Thank you, Lord, that you are in control of this whole situation. Thank you, Lord. Mary, would you like to go next? And then I will call on a few other people. Thank you, Father, that we are your bride. Thank you that you have clothed, clothed us in silver and gold. That they have been tested and tried in the fire. Thank you that you are refining our characters. Thank you that you called your bride so precious to you and you are bridegroom so precious to us, our very life and breath. Thank you that we stand as one. Thank you, Father, we stand as one standing in the Godhead dwelling bodily in Christ, as you say in Colossians. Thank you that you have, we have our warrior war boots on. Those warrior war boots, Lord, that give us stability, that give us strength, because it's all based on your covenant platform of Hebrews 4.12. Thank you, Father, that your spirit is in our heart. And thank you that we speak from the secret place, from the altar of fire, and our words are fire. Because your word is a hammer and as a fire. Thank you, sovereign almighty God, you are a consuming fire. So, Father God, I'm asking that your fiery blood and the fire of your love the fire of your protection of your glory be upon each one of us and the whole of Israel and its borders, not just its present borders, but the borders you established in covenant from the beginning. From the beginning. Thank you, Father, that your fire is going throughout the whole of the Middle East and every nation and in this nation, Australia and Africa, every part of it, every family, every person, every community, that there is nothing in creation that is not covered by your fiery blood and the fire of your love and your fiery word, because you are a consuming fire. And that fire affects us, refines us, including our minds. Father God, make us aware of our subconscious thoughts, and I thank you that your blood cleanses and purifies our conscience so that there is nothing in us that prevents or stops your blessings from flowing and that stops any communication between you and us. 
I thank you, Father, for our warrior war boots. I thank you that you are bringing our hearts into total stability, no matter what comes. I thank you that you, through your spirit being in us, that we can remain focused on you no matter what comes. I thank you that your consuming fire protects Israel and Esther's family and every family in Israel and every Jew, no matter where they live throughout the earth. And I thank you, Father, that your fiery blood and the fire of your love is upon all our electronic devices and our communication systems and that of Israel in particular. And I declare no AI can countermand you, Father God. I thank you that your glory blood is upon it all. Total protection. Total protection for Jerusalem, for Tel Aviv. Total protection for every part of the IDF. Total protection on all the hostages. And Father God, I thank you that your fiery blood and the fiber love is even working in the whole of Islam throughout the world, bringing each one into salvation. And I declare to you, Israel, your walls are salvation and your gates are praise. You will fulfill your destiny. You are saved with an eternal salvation, as it says in Isaiah 45. And I thank you, Lord that today you reminded me of these warrior war boots. A friend of mine, Lorraine, who's now with the Lord, had a deliverance and a prophetic ministry. When she was in her late 80s, she saw herself dressed as a beautiful, beautiful bride. But when she looked down to see what she had on her feet, she was totally dismayed because she had these big clunky boots on. But she didn't, then she came to the realisation that she had warrior war boots on. And I rem, and you reminded me just not long, just when we started here, Lord, that when I was, I think, seven, I was given the privilege of receiving my first Holy Communion. And I was so excited and I had a lovely dress and I was hoping I was going to get lovely shoes. And I was so dismayed when I saw those clunky boots but they were very practical and they were brought stability and they wore well. And now in my old age, they're the shoes that I go to because they are so stable. But the Lord reminded me that I was so excited to receive Holy Communion. And that's what our communion with the Lord brings us into warfare and makes our feet stable. So, Father God, I just want to declare over Israel and over each one of us, no matter that no matter if the fig tree does not blossom and the fruit falls on the vine, we will rejoice in you, the God of our salvation. We rejoice in you, God of our hope. Lord of hope, Lord of glory, you are our faith. It is your faith, Christ, that we have living in us. And I thank you that you will make our feet to walk, not to stand still in terror, but to walk and to make spiritual progress upon our high places of trouble, suffering or responsibility. I thank you, Father, and I give you the glory and the praise for all the things that you protect us from and protect Israel from that we are not even aware of. And I thank you that your glory covers us, covers Israel, and your glory is our reward. And I thank you, Father, that we can look to Jesus and see the glory of God on his face. I thank you, Father, that that knowledge and the glory, Jesus, of who you are and who the Father is will cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. Jesus, I just want to lift up your holy name over all creation. 
and speak the precious name of Jesus over every heart, over every mind, over Islam, over all idolatry, over all sin and iniquity, on and everything that the enemy brings in to divide man from man. And I speak life. I speak peace. I speak life everlasting. And I speak the name Jesus over each one of us and all relationships and all of creation. To you and you only, our living Messiah, risen Lamb of God, be the only glory, the only honour and the praise. And may there be such a harvest of souls out of this war, Father, that will never cease and never end in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I just want to read the um, scripture, Esther, that you put up from 2 Peter, 2 Peter uh, chapter 3. Um, she, uh, you put up number 9, which is, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness but is long-suffering towards us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So exactly the way Mary also prayed for that. And um, I just went the verse before, which says, but beloved, do not forget that one this one thing, that with the Lord one day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. So we we... Just know that, Lord, you are in control of that. So, um, Javanis, would you like to pray? And then um, maybe William Warren, you were also on the call, so maybe you'd like to pray after her. Thank you. Lord God, we want to thank you because as we have heard in the song, you never leave us alone, we never walk alone, and we know that you've never, you will never let Israel walk alone. Even when you would scatter them, even in exile, we know that you visited their prophets. You were with, with your children. You looked after them. You cared for them. You provided for them. You kept the word going to them, telling them to settle and build houses. And even when they were in exile and you, had, you were annoyed with them. And we know, Lord, that even at this time, they are not walking alone. We remember when they were in Egypt. You sent, you told, you had told Abraham that surely his descendants will go in a foreign land. You are with them, but later they were oppressed, and eventually you heard their cry. So, Lord God, we pray that as they are getting oppressed from every side around them, Lord, we pray that you hear their cry, that they will not lose hope. We thank you, Lord, for the many messianic jews who are in israel whom you've made your shepherds lord to shepherd your people within the land we pray lord that you give them the courage the boldness that you protect them that they'll be able to spread your word to comfort the people even at this time until the people come to know that you are god and you have sent your son jesus christ to to redeem them Lord God, we know there is no situation that happens without your knowledge. Because many might ask where you are at this time, when all this is happening. But we know that we never walk alone, and Israel never walks alone. They are your firstborn. So, Lord God, we pray that as they cry out, you hear their cry. Reveal yourself to them. We pray that your son, Jesus Christ, will reveal himself to them in dreams and visions that he reveal himself to them as the Prince of Peace, as the wonderful counselor, Lord, who will counsel their leaders, who will give them, who will advise them on how to lead your people, how to make decisions at this critical time, even when people from outside, when there may be a lot of foreign influence, Lord, trying to advise in this and that, but we you know that it's only you, Lord, who can solve this problem in the Middle East. Because we know, Lord, that you have, you have prepared your land. You have prepared your people with many of them coming back, making Aliyah. And yet this is happening. So, Lord God, we pray that we will not 
complain that we will not wonder where you are, but we know that you are always walking with us and you are always walking with Israel, and you'll give them a way out. We pray, Lord, that you comfort those who've lost their loved ones, those who have their loved ones are hostages, those who who are wounded, Lord. We pray that you comfort them. But most of all, Lord, we pray that they'll come to know the saving grace of your Son, Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. We thank you, Lord, and we praise you. We pray, Lord, that you'll continue to show yourself strong as the man of war, that you'll fight for them, you'll defend them, you'll protect them, that they'll cry to you for help, that they'll surrender to you, because, Lord, you always want us to surrender to you. You always want to do things the way you led them to fight to conquer Jericho, Lord. Without them doing much, you collapsed the walls on the on you fought for them, Lord. We pray that you fight for them, that they'll know that you are the one who is fighting and not themselves. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Um, it was a good idea. Mary has said, should we celebrate communion? And I'd really like to do that. I, I, I think communion is such a powerful um, reminder of what Jesus did for each one of us and um, so how can we let that go by but um, actually say that we need it um can I, I ask you yeah, yes I I've just got by as well. we, we're, we're in the we yeah. have to be ready in season and out of season okay. um I'd like to just ask William Warren would you pray and um and then could I ask um Brian would you be able to help us with the communion and just um, do the uh, pray for the bread, and then I'll ask um, Ronald, who's also from Africa, <laughs> to to pray for the uh, for the for the um, the blood, uh, the wine. Okay, so let's just have from Warren first, and then we'll. Uh, I can't believe this hour is nearly. <laughs> over because it's uh, you've all been so faithful to pray and to give scriptures it's been so wonderful thank you so first of all William just not, not too long and then um, we'll go to the communion first and then we'll see what time we've got left thank you Heavenly Father this is the time and we know Father that you are faithful and we know your word and what it says. It tells us when we see these things to look up because our redemption draws near. There's a hope that we have that we've been waiting for for so long. But I can't help from just experiencing what is taking place and what can be. It is um, it's heartfelt to see the people in their suffering in war. A war that's not justified. A war that we believe is, is pure evil. Seeing the, the depths and how they had came about. The lack of love for people. all ages. I pray for through this experience that everyone that are on the other side of the cross waiting to come in, maybe they use their jobs as a, an excuse for not to listen to the gospel, but I pray this be an, an eye opener for them. I pray, Lord, for the comfort to those that lost loved ones. And if they're not saved, I pray, Father, for those that are still alive and is grieving. I pray that the word come to them, Lord, that they get saved because this is just a, an example of what it's gonna be like. We know the North Gate is a direction where in that time, 
it will be so great of an army that only you will be the one can stop it. And it will be because of, it will be your glory. It will be your glory. They will come through by hooks and they will do what they supposed to do. But your glory will, your power will show the people that you are God. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that the hearts of many will come to Christ before that great and terrible day. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Okay. Well, let, let, let's have the communion so we're not rushed at the end. We've got, still got a bit of time. So, Brian, would you pray for the bread? And then, um, Ronald, will you pray for the wine? Okay. Thank you. We thank you, Lord, for your broken body. You alone, Lord, are the one who to bring glory from this time where there is much hatred being expressed. You alone, Lord, are the one who works things together for good. You are the one, Lord, who will bring glory through this time. And Lord, we are delighted to bring this bread before you. We present it before you, Father, as representative of your brokenness, Father, of your encounter with suffering already on our behalf and on behalf of the millions, Lord, and all those that are against you at this time. Oh, Father, 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 forgive us, Father, for those sins that we commit against you. And we're reminded now, Lord, as we present this broken bread, that you have done this, done this for us already towards the victory that you have achieved for us at Calvary. Victory, Lord, for humanity and your creation. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. Amen. And amen. We partake amen. together, Lord, now in the name of Jesus, declaring, Lord, unity of heart and spirit, Father, with you, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I was just thinking. I was just remembering regarding Africa, that Ethiopia, I, I, I understand it was an Ethiopian that carried the cross for Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you for your identification with us, with Africa, with all those that are desiring to tread the whole way of holiness toward, <laughs> toward the center of your heart in Jerusalem. Amen, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Ronald. As well. mm. Ronald, can you unmute? You're still muted. Okay. Yes, Father Lord, as we are taking the, the communion, remembering your blood that was shed, Father Lord. Mm. We appropriate the benefits of the blood over your firstborn up of your eye, mm. over IDF, over children, women in Israel, even in Gaza, who are bystanders, who are not in the conflict. Father, I cover them the blood of, of Yeshua. We cover ourselves with the blood of Yeshua. Mm -hmm. We appropriate healing over our lives through the blood, spiritual healing, physical healing. Father, Lord, we pray that Lord, may your blood secure us, Lord, the door of holiness, righteousness. We thank you, Lord, mm -hmm. for the blood that was shed. Amen. Amen. Let's take the bread. Let, let, let us take the cup. Yes, there have been so many scriptures and I've tried to write them all down in my book as well to go through them later. And um, 
we do pray for the hostages to be released. And I keep on thinking of what Esther has actually put up the scripture in the chat as well. That with David called to the Lord and he recovered everything that he um, had lost when Ziklag had been destroyed and and even his own men were turning against him. But Lord, you strengthened him. You strengthened David and he had the victory because of that. So we do pray for, for those situations and they will always be constantly on our minds. And that. Um, uh, Shoshana mentioned that uh, maybe we can unmute and, and uh, pray the Lord's Prayer. I think we all know about uh, know it by now. <laughs> so, um, so we could do that and just pray it together, and then um, and then I'll get um, maybe Phoebe. Phoebe's also from Africa. I'll ask her to close and pray at the end. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's just all unmute. Um, even pray in tongues, um, but also. Let's just say, Our Father. Okay. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in heaven. Give us this day our daily thank you jesus thank you and thank you for everybody who's come on the call and um it's uh it's now the top of the hour again so we keep on getting to the top of the hours very quickly um just one thing i just wanted to think about is Jesus said that as in the days of Noah, so it would be in the last days. And when we're talking about all the terrible things that are happening, I keep on saying to people, wow, days of Noah, there were only eight saved. The whole world was destroyed except for eight. So, Lord, we just say thank you that we can learn a lesson from Noah, that, that we need to turn to you and come into that ark. And the ark for us is the Lord Jesus. Is, um, is Lord Jesus. So, I wanted uh, to ask for a prayer. Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, actually, I'm living in the safe room, and the safe room has a metal window. I mean, you just, and the room is dark all the time. Doesn't matter how many lights I will put on, it's still dark. Mm. Uh, so, oh. yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. okay. It's um, I'll, I'll ask Phoebe to pray because a lot of us on on the African continent, um, we we often have power failures. Well, certainly in South Africa, we have this rolling power failure sometimes. Although it's getting better, I must say. Um, and so you, I understand. Last night it was completely dark except for the little light I'd put on. And so mm. yes, we, we will well, pray for you, Esther. Yeah, and we I'm only you. like eleven days now. In <laughs> Dark. Oh, lot, yeah. Are you in Haifa? Yes, I have my friends and my bedroom is the safe room. And we close the window because in the last minute you cannot because the door at the window is so heavy. Yeah. So it's okay. there now until mm. we will. I pray that you have time sometimes to be able to go outside as well, but uh, mm. get some strength, yes. Anyway, uh, okay, so Phoebe, would you um, would you close us off in prayer and just remember mm -hmm. Esther and all those others who are in the land. Um, mm -hmm. I give thanks and praise for, for bringing people like Hillary back to their land um, and that you. Uh, you have... Uh, there's so much that's happened, uh, so much joy with the, with the welcoming the nations and um, all the things that have been happening in the last uh, few 
weeks and months, um, especially yeah. with the Feast of Tabernacles. And there was just so much joy and so much yeah. coming together. So, Lord, I just pray that we will continue to praise your name. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Thank yeah. you, Phoebe, if you could just um, finish the call for me. Thank you. Amen. Father, we thank you that in spite of all the difficulties we go through, your word is there to protect us. Uh, the psalmist in Psalm 119 said that I've hidden your word in my heart that I may not sin. Father, we thank you for our sisters and brothers in Israel, the Jews who are now being persecuted, that you have hidden your word, whether it is in the Old Testament or in the New Testament, in their hearts. Lord, I pray that that word will be their protection. Father, you say that he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will not be afraid. So, Father, we continue even to, apart from those bomb shelters, that they will find the shelter of the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, that they will be safe, Lord God. And you said in your word that he who that, that he who watches over Israel does not slumber, mm. does not sleep. Mm. Father, we activate every single word we know. Each Jew knows right now that mm. that will be the word of protection. That you who watches over Israel, you do not slumber, you do not sleep. Mm. There's nothing which is happening which you don't know. I pray that they will be drawn close to you day by day. We pray for our sister Esther and all her friends and. All our brethren who are living in Israel right now, the Jews who are the descendants of Abraham, we pray that you protect them. He said that even when they put on the lights, they don't see. Lord, you created the, the, the light so that we can go out and see mm. and live so, Father, we pray that this privilege of the sunlight will be given to them. It is their natural birthright, oh God. So, you, you say that you make wars to cease, make this war to cease so that they can go back to the normal life to preach the gospel. You say that we pray for those who are in leadership so that the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ may be preached. Mm -hmm. We pray that. Things will normalize for the sake of the preaching of the gospel of Yeshua HaMashiach. Lord, protect them. Encourage them. May they find joy in knowing you and being their, being their, 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 their protector, their savior. May they find you in this difficult time. In Yeshua HaMashiach's name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Well, we've got some watches on today at 3 p.m. Jerusalem time. Um, it will be the Israel watch, so that's always good. And then we go straight in at, um, at 4 o'clock Jerusalem time into the next um, uh, summary of, of what is happening in the news. So we, we just say thank you. Thank you for everyone who came on the call. Would you like to all unmute, wave to yourselves, uh, to yeah. others? <laughs> and we thank you. Bless 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 you. Bless